we have to get into the water. Y'all know this is my favorite, right? And I think why I like this so much, the coldest water bottle. I drink water faster out of this than a regular water bottle or a glass. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there's a straw on this. Like it has a straw and then the aesthetics of it. Like, look at this. It's cute. And then I have one in red. It's sitting right there by my bed on the floor. I also have one in black. And two of them got my name on it. Like the aesthetics are cute. Like stop walking around town with ugly water bottles. Get you a cute one. One that's going to keep your water cold and your room temp water at room temp. Because if it don't at least do that, sis, you just out here. You out of commission, babe. Put that right up. You can learn something. Y'all, Aaron Ross had a birthday party. And I actually just Googled Aaron Ross. And I'm a little bit confused because it says Aaron Ross, football cornerback. Born September 15th, 1982, 40 years old. You're probably wondering, well, Aaron, what's the big deal? This man's birthday was on September 15th, having a birthday party on October 9th. Babe, you're about a month too late. But I guess Aaron Ross wanted to have a themed birthday party closer to Halloween so that it could be filmed so that they could dress up. And the theme for the birthday party was The Great Gatsby. It's giving Leonardo DiCaprio tees. All right, this right here is Marlo and Sonia. Marlo is on the right, Sonia is on the left. They look gorgeous as always. Um, I think out of everybody's fit, I like Marlo's the most because y'all know Marlo is just fabulous. But you know what this is giving me? Dorothy Dandridge. Remember when Portia dressed up as Dorothy? Hold on. Let me get this together. Because we're going to really break it down tonight. Y'all ready for this? It's giving me season five. Maybe a little bit. Like the short hair. I know it's like a different era kind of. But the short hair, the sparkly dress, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Anyways. So yeah, that's one thing I forgot to tell y'all. Portia uh, is not there. Drew. Thanks again, Drew. Now, just to touch on that for a little bit, because I saw people in the comments talking about some Aaron. She's not coming back. You need to drop it. And I'm like, no, never. Not going to happen. Too bad. So sad. I'm going to keep talking about her every chance I get. Here's the thing. It's not that Bravo doesn't want Portia. I'll just let y'all know right uh, now. It's not that Bravo don't want Portia. So I'm going to really need y'all to, uh, like, recognize and act like you know what the hell going on. Portia left and Andy wants her back. Janelle Stevens. Now, this is a testament that Love B. Scott is on his shit. Somebody was on Twitter talking about some, oh, your source is Kenya. Your source is Kenya. And B. Scott was like, mm, my source goes well beyond Kenya's pay grade. Oh. No, he didn't say that. But he was like, my source is well beyond Kenya. Way above Kenya's head. Maybe a producer, maybe an executive. You get what I'm saying? An insider, a mole. But yeah, Janelle Stevens, she's short, but she's cute. And she's giving real boss. Not Mia boss. No Tino shade to Mia. But like Camille Rose is giving owner. Like Mia's giving us boss. And Camille Rose, what's her name? Janelle Stevens is giving us owner. Because y'all know there's a distinction, okay? An owner can be a boss, but bosses are not always owners. You learn something new every day. Mm. Oh, God. These two grifters. Mm. Martel Holt of Love and Marriage Huntsville and Sheree Whitfield canoodling, acting like they in a relationship to keep these storylines going, to pay for the Chateau, Chateau Thelma, honey, to pay for his contract and license, honey, his residential license, child. Um, I don't even know what to say about this. I actually thought that there was going to be some sort of, uh, some sort of difficulty getting Martel on Roa and getting Sheree on Love and Marriage because I'm sure. I know Sheree has a non-compete. Maybe not Martel, but I know Sheree got one. I'm pretty sure. So I thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult. 
uh to get like a, a crossover event happening but i guess not okay and i really hope candy's forthcoming with sheree i really hope uh candy is um honest with her friend sheree and i hope she just straight up tells her like sis he's a user and he's an abuser run the other way but at this point sheree gone she too old you can't tell older folks what to do at this point i think on the right of course martel fine ass mm. Uh, Sheree in the middle, Kenya. I read somewhere. Shout out to Housewives of ATL on Instagram. I will link them down below because, honey, they had all the developing tea. All right. Um, I heard that Kenya has some choice words for Martel, but according to this uh screen grab that I got, Martel seems amused by the whole situation. So that's Kenya, I think, in the middle, and then in the black, I thought that was Drew. But I think that's my yetta. I'm not really sure. So y'all let me know how y'all, you know, who y'all see. I don't know who that is. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. I cannot believe they brought back Monietta, but we still don't have Claudia, Eva, Shamari, Kim Fields, Fallon, Latoya. Like, in what world does that make sense? None. Now we are going to get into some videos. Janelle's the one with the ponytail. Candy is the one with the uh, sleeveless. But it kind of looked like Candy is really not paying Janelle no mind. Like, Janelle is trying to stop by and have a little kiki. And Candy's like, girl, I'm focused on something else. Let me be. Leave me alone. Go about your business with your hair care, honey. Okay? Is Candy intimidated by Miss Hair Care? The new Miss Hair Care. Not Kenya Moore, but Miss uh, Janelle. Maybe Candy's going to be the one to be intimidated by Janelle and not Kenya. Because Candy's just as much of a boss. Not a Mia boss, but an owner boss. Mm. So, yeah, it kind of looked like Candy is like, girl, like, ha ha, he he, get out my face. Please, your breath stank. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. And then this right here is the birthday boy but at this point it's not even his birthday his birthday was a month ago child so anyways child but you know they look really happy sonia's growing on me i'm happy she got a second season i hazed her really hard the first season but i think she kind of proved herself a little bit to a certain extent right she brought us storylines her husband life her family life we got to see the mama and the sister and the drama between her and Drew and Kenya. And then on top of that, she took the women on an international trip, planned and took the women on an international trip, and production didn't even have to pay for it all because she was teaming up with iFit. And I just got a text message, and iFit is a program that be on the workout bikes or whatever. So Sonia got that licensing deal. Sonia got that coin. They make it in your size when you got the coint, baby. And yes, this is the hair that I decided to buy. Thank you. Another one. Thank you. All right. So I was scrolling and trolling. Shout out to Housewives of ATL because the neighborhood talk was picking up their teach out. Right. And in this caption, they write, not candy about to pop somebody on the first day of taping for the new season. Uh oh. Who is Candy about to pop, child? So there you see Candy, Don Juan, and Todd. It looks like Todd and Don Juan are trying to talk Candy off the ledge, child. Let's play it again, honey. This is Candy getting testy. She's irritated. It kind of seems like there's another woman. If I can slow it down. Y'all see that woman right there in between Todd and Candy? Her head is right there. Mm-hmm. And then you have Todd and Don Juan. Being like, don't do it, sis. Don't do it. And they say it's this woman right here. Now, we don't know who this woman is, but I did read that it could be one of Marlo's folks. Okay, we do know that Candy and Marlo don't see it for each other. So maybe this is Marlo's cousin from St. Petersburg, Florida, child. All right. Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about everything. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day. Let me know um, if you guys are excited for this season. I am. I'm excited. So let me know. Like the video. See you guys.